Hey, let's talk about cleaning a foot switch. Um, a lot of times you'll have intermittent cutting out and when you bounce the foot switch plunger right here without even clicking it sometimes you'll hear the sound coming back or going away and that's usually a dirty switch usually cleaning a switch will take care of that and I've actually never had it not work with a foot switch I've seen foot switches go bad where the cube comes apart in the back and I've seen the springs fail especially if people are if you're soldering a foot switch don't solder it on the lugs that are engaged to the um, center lugs of the switch you know click that switch over when you're soldering your lugs that way it won't the springs underneath won't heat up and they won't be pushing the pins as well when you're soldering the foot switch maybe I'm preaching to the choir but anyways I see you know people's foot switches with the pins pushed up where they obviously were soldering with the um, that side of the switch engaged anyhow so I wouldn't take your foot switches apart to clean them Let's just go with that too I wouldn't do that as well because you're gonna uh, it's not gonna go back the same way the spring clips aren't gonna go back nicely you can it's not a good idea um, anyways so two ways you can clean foot switch is to get yourself some deoxid this is the d5 you can take it outside to spray it off now deoxid's okay on every finish that i know of i've had no problem with finish with the deoxid just take it outside spray it off get it to where you can get just a little bit coming out of the tip if you can't do that it won't work for you i've always had a good luck with that where i can put the tube right to the plunger and have it come out so slow that I can just bounce the plunger, not clicking the switch, but bounce it as I'm watching the deoxid come out onto that plunger and you know, do that for a while and then give it its 10 clicks. Usually it takes one time and that switch is good for another however long till the next gig where you have to play uh, where they've got the baseball infield crap in front of you where people are dancing and you get home from the gig and all your pedals are cover covered in dust um, I always use my air compressor blow my board off and then I'll clean my switches that I use a lot like my overdrive and delay the ones that I'm stepping on a lot um, I know I'm gonna you know be turning those switches up in those situations anyways so the deoxic tube right up against the plunger bounce it don't have to click it and then give it your clicks now if you have just regular plastic safe contact cleaner that maybe not a deoxid or maybe your deoxid the tubes not come you know working for you that well where you can do that like I do it real slow trigger um, take and put a paper towel over a bottle cap like a plastic bottle cap like that put a hole through it put your tube into it and fill that cap up a bit enough to where you can soak it up a couple of times into a q-tip and then what you'll do is you're taking your q-tip soaking it you can see it's nice and wet and then pushing it right up against the plunger of the foot switch and pushing it up against it and then bouncing the plunger just bouncing it not clicking it just bouncing it so you know it's going in there same thing uh, again and again where you're getting enough material on there you can see it uh, gathering on the collar and then you're bouncing the plunger and it's disappearing going into the switch several times where you're doing that and then start clicking your switch and then do it again load up your q-tip again soak it push it right up against that plunger bounce it more and more click it now once again if you're using just regular contact cleaner um, even plastic safe stuff I would be you know careful that you're not squeezing it all over your pedal that you're getting it right on the plunger and getting it right into the source um, with the deoxid I haven't had any bad luck with finishes and I can usually just put the tube right up against the plunger and just watch it go right in there it doesn't take much I mean a can of deoxid will last you 
Well, some people will last you a lifetime. I'm using it once every, you know, month. Every, I, you know, pots on my guitars. Um, I use them on my volume pot on my guitars. Once every couple of months. Because they're, you know, going through a lot of crappy gigs. And et cetera, et cetera. And uh, anyways, so hope that helps. And that'll fix most issues with cutting out, signal cutting out. Even, you know, in bypass, if, you, if you're bouncing that plunger without clicking it, and it seems to bring the signal back, same thing. It's probably just dirty contacts, and uh, chances are your foot switch will last you um, the rest of your life on your pedal. I'm using mine every day, every day. Uh, you know, 25 to 50 clicks each one of my pedals. Um, and, uh, I have some that I've been stepping on for 12 to 15 years and still have the original foot switches in them. So have faith in those True Bypass 3 PDTs. Easy to replace and they last a hell of a long time. They make great contacts and that's all that, uh, talking. Have a great one, man.